Can you see my screen? Okay, okay. Uh, hello, my name is Clodoaldo. I studied of uh, Electro Engineering in Brazil. Currently, I study at Federal Institute of São Paulo Campus Presidente Pitaço. Today, I come here to present one of my studies uh, developed during my scientific initiation. Uh, the study has funded by CNPQ and has carried out in conjunction with IAE, Institute of Aeronautic and Space. And the work was called Ionosphere Equatorial Plasma Bubble Effects on L1 Single Frequency Called GPS Positioning Use Precise Ephemeris. And it had contribution from, I'll summarize, from Aeronautic and Space Institute, contribution by Bruno Vani from IFSP, and from Emmanuel Costa and Jean Monico Estil. We developed this presentation in these follow sections. Uh, this, the first section, we will make an introduction. After that, let's introduce a uh, ionosphere plasma bubble, single point positioning, acknowledgement, and the last but not least, the reference. Introduction, you can start by relating the importance of satellite navigation system for numbers of knowledge. Uh, not just for satellite positioning, which is one of the best known and the most used in application, but you can also emphasize the importance for applications such as a smart city, navigation roads, precise agriculture, among many other important applications. Thus, the application and uh, study of positioning system went up contribution to numerous of, of contribution to numerous are of knowledge. On the other hand, when the GPS system system propagates throughout the Earth's atmosphere, it can wind up surface virus effects, as can be seen in the figure on the right corner of this slide. And one of the effects that most affect the propagation of signal throughout the atmosphere is this effect, uh, the effect caused by Earth's ionosphere. The ionosphere is a layer between approximately uh, 15 to 1,000 kilometers from the Earth's surface. The ionosphere is mainly characterized by the right concentration of phi ions and electrons in concentration with other. Uh, that said, there are at time processes that are commonly explained by Rayleigh's theory, theory, and these end up create uh, rig regions where the less plasma ends up entering the denser plasma, create regions where the signal is rightly affected. Thank you. Two examples in the in the slide four. Uh, in, in this figure, uh, you can you can see the total content of electron, and in these figures, uh, you can see that the studies of the modeling and the analysis of uh, ionosphere plasma bubbles are really affected in Brazilian region. Other important thing is a uh, ionosphere scintillation is a rapid modify of radio waves caused by small scales in ionosphere. Several scintillation conditions can prevent a GPS receiver from locking on the signal and can make it possible to calculate a positioning. Less several scintillation conditions can reduce the accuracy and the confidence of positioning results. And the scintillation is a strong function of local time, uh, season, geometric activity, and the solar cycle, but it's also influenced by waves propagation from, from lower atmosphere. The present study uses a uh, knowledge positioning method such as a uh, simple point positioning. Uh, the method uses a uh, MATLAB software for building of the codes together with PRC in some strategic moments. We chose some important moments of the codes in order to minimize the time needed to execute the codes. Uh, we also use several types of data, such as uh, meteorological annex, navigation, and observation. With this, we were able to obtain all the necessary data for modeling virus uh, signal propagation errors. In the upper left corner of slide six, you can see a simplified full chart of how the implemented work, how the implemented position map works. Comment a little more about the working flowchart. You will need to read all the necessary data. This being 
uh, the navigation, observation, and numerological RINEX. After that, you calculate the initial clock errors and coordinates. In this way, you can obtain the elevation angles, apply the elevation mask, and build a weight matrix. Then, you apply the method of least square, least square for each of the times, in which you calculate the errors for Earth rotates, ionosphere, and troposphere delay, among many other important facts. Uh, the the interracial process can stop when the number of interracial sets stem, in which the case the process has not converged. And if the error between two epochs is less than my established bias, you have that the process is successful converged. In the lower right corner of slide six, you can see that to obtain the coordinates, you need uh, at least three different satellites provide observation. But uh, due to the non synchronous between the satellite and the receiver clock, you need uh, at least four satellites to perform the position completely. In the figure on slide seven, you can see the error for components E and U throughout the day. Uh, the same analysis is month six, and the time in this figure is expressed in universal time in order to facilitate understand. You can see that the error remains stable throughout the day and low. However, the U component has underprivilege and presents higher errors. Uh, but even in the rose case, errors greater 15 meters are not present. In the figure on slide eight, you can see a graph of complementary cumulative distribution function. In this figure, you can see a 3G, 2G, and vertical error for the most important hour of the day in Brazil and the most affected. The analysis time is between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. in universal time. You can observe that the errors for the hours between uh, 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. are commonly rarer than other times. And at these times, we commonly observe for months of their high solar activity, the presence of ionosphere bubbles and high ionosphere scintillation. The statements went up explain these bag errors observed. In, in this slide, you, you can see a figure on slide nine. Uh, you can see the error for E and U throughout the day for the month of November. The same consideration made above for the chart are still valid here. The error throughout the day between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. remains low and behaves similar that you see in the previous slide for the period of low, ati low solar activity. But in the figure on this, the, this present slide, on slide nine, you can see that the, the error between 9 p.m. and approximately 2 a.m., the error increased a lot. In the worst moments, you observe values of up to 30, min 30 meters of in, in U components, while for the E and N components, you observe of up to 15 meters. Thus, highlights the, the needed for studies and analysis of ionosphere plasma bubble in equatorial region. This effects impairs the positioning, mainly in terms of accuracy. The study are extremely relevant for application of satellite-based system in equatorial region. On slide 10, you present your thanks to developing and agents to, to develop agents and institutes. On slide 11, you present the bibliography used to build this slide. Other images that were used in construction or build of this slide are free to use or build by yourselves. Uh, this is my first presentation in English. I apologize for my mistakes and double question. We are present to reply them. And I can send my email in chat to, uh, to send your question, okay? Thank you.